everyone go. Ah, damn it. No matter how. Twelve seconds later. Round and round, round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round. Hey what's up soldiers, my name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Zombies Top 5. Now today guys, we're going to be doing the top 5 worst maps to play in public matches when it comes to Call of Duty Zombies, and more specifically on Treyarch Zombies. Now, a lot of these lists are formulated on Twitter, so I ask what you guys think are the worst maps to play in public matches, and I got a bunch of responses from you guys, so according to how many responses I got for each map, that's how I ordered it. So don't think that I'm just making these up or anything like that, and if you guys are like upset about the list, I'm sorry. You could vote, you could voice your opinion, all you have to do is follow me on Twitter and respond to the couple polls I put out every week. So that's all you got to do guys but anyways without further ado if you do enjoy the video make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new and let's jump right into the top five worst maps to play in public matches all right guys coming in at the number five spot is going to be derizen drac now derizen drac is a fantastic map and it's a lot of fun but in public matches every single person wants to get the storm bow it, it literally every single time as soon as someone gets the bow they make a mad dash to the storm bow every single time and i understand that but they are just trying to grab the arrow so that they can upgrade it because it's the easiest one to do now unfortunately for public match players a lot of them don't know how to do all the bows and they only know how to do the storm bow because it's the easiest to build and still probably one of the better bows now i would say that some other bows like the void bow definitely got better and the wolf bow is really easy to do as well and it's pretty good as well at the same time the fire bow is kind of eh, it's like okay so i can understand why people want to get the storm bow but at the same time it's kind of ridiculous like when you play public matches because everyone it wants to get that bow and if they don't get it they just back out of the game so you're pretty much just screwed at that point so i would definitely say the jack sucks when it comes to the number five spot Coming in at the number four spot is going to be Origins. Now, it's pretty much exactly the same as the Ryzen Jack when it comes to the staffs. And everyone will call a staff at the beginning of the game. And if they don't get that staff, they're going to rage quit. Now, I never expect to go for high rounds on Origins. I think I've done the Easter egg once with randoms and it's because they had mics and they were talking and I was just listening to what they said so it was really easy to do and that's a big thing when it comes to public matches like do you guys use a mic or not let me know if you guys even play public matches down below in the comment section but I like to play them just for fun to like make fun of how bad some people are and it's just like fun every once in a while to do but I would say that a horrible map to play is origins just because like everyone gets mad if they don't get like the fire staff or a lot of people like the ice staff i personally think all the staffs are somewhat good i like the wind staff i know that's kind of an unpopular opinion but anyways some people just get mad if they don't get the staff they want so they back out right away so origins comes in at the number four spot coming in at the number three spot is going to be shadows of evil now shadows is one of those maps that's an on disc map so it's always going to have a large percentage of players and those players don't usually have map packs so they're just trying to get a feel for zombies and i think shadows was like a really bad map to have on disc because it was really hard for a lot of people to actually learn how this map works doing the rituals no one really knows how to do those if you're like a brand new player it's kind of hard to figure out so i would definitely say that shadows is just one of those maps like don't really expect to do anything good if you're playing in a public match because chances are there's going to be a lot of downs from noobs who have no idea what they're doing so shadows comes in at the number three spot coming in at the number two spot is going to be on transit now transit is yet again another on disc map and a lot of people like to play town and that seems like the most popular thing for like people who are just trying zombies out and i think town is a perfect map for that but i wanted to not 
categorize each individual like transit map as its own map so i just went with transit in general now transit if you're actually playing transit it's really really weird to play in public matches because the map is so large so there'll be people that run directly to town and then go directly to the bank and get points and there's people that just stay like near bus depot or they go to diner or they go to power or farm it, it always is different no matter what game you play there's going to be players at different areas at all times so it's kind of weird to play in a public match because for example if someone goes down at bus depot and you're all the way at diner chances are you're not going to want to run all the way through the tunnel and go revive that player and by the time you get there you're not going to be able to save them either so the only way that you can actually revive someone like that is if you have the denizen go through the light and make the portal and you have to hope that you actually teleport where that player is so i think that like just overall transit is bad because people will rage quit if they go down and they took like a bunch of money out of the bank for example like say you took like twenty thousand points out of the bank and then you go to i don't know somewhere to buy like speed cola for example then you go down so now you're risking like everything and you go down now there's nobody near you so if you die out you're gonna be mad because you lost all those points and you lost your perks and went down so it that's just one of those things that like transit definitely is one of those maps that is horrible to play in public matches i would much rather just play solo and have to restart than actually play with people on that map it's just how it is all right guys in this video we have one honorable mention and that one is going to be a moon now the reason i put moon on this list and some people commented it is because of no man's land i feel like now there's a lot of people that as soon as a game on moon starts they run around no man's land like they know what they're doing like they're pro trainers and then they end up going down and it sucks for everyone else because no one else can actually teleport onto the map unless they revive the player or the player dies out which results in everyone most likely going down and the game not even getting onto the moon so a lot of people like what are you doing man what are you doing you have no idea what you're doing and it's really funny honestly because like i can train around no man's land and have people die out but at the same time it's like what's the point like people ugh, man it really annoys me i would much rather just teleport straight away and not have to worry about someone training but it seems to always happen on moon so i had to put moon at the honorable mention and uh, yeah let's get into the number one spot coming in at the number one spot is going to be shangri-la now this one got a ridiculous amount of votes and i was actually kind of surprised because shangri-la is in my opinion a fairly good map but the reason the most people put this one is because of pack a punch now if you guys didn't know how to pack a punch on shang there's four different tablets that are located around the map and each player depending on how many are in the game have to stand on a tablet so if you're playing solo you only have to stand on one but if you're in like a four player like public match game then people are not going to know how to stand on tablets or where they even are and i can understand because a lot of people might say that shang is a hard map so a lot of people don't play it very often and they won't even know how to pack a bunch on the map and that's just how it is so if you are expecting to play shangri-la in a public match and actually pack a punch good luck it, it's probably not going to happen so uh yeah shang definitely deserved to be in the number one spot no doubt about it at all whatsoever so anyways guys those are going to be the top five worst maps to play in public matches i let me know if you guys agreed with this list if you think i left out any that you think should have been on the list you can also tell me down below usually when you play in public matches something bad is always going to happen but there are a few maps that are really good to play public matches in for example like kino isn't really that bad also like even 
uh the giant or Doris is really easy like any like basic maps aren't too bad fives also not as bad and then when you start getting into more like intricate stuff with like pack a punching and you have to go somewhere farther or different uh it, it definitely can start to get a little bit more challenging so that's why i made this list and you guys seem to exactly know what you're talking about because i agree with this list pretty much 100 percent so anyways guys thank you so much for watching my name is greg fps zombies extraordinaire and i'll see you guys in the next video also if you have any top five ideas comment them down below and i will be looking at the list and see if there are any that i want to make so have a good day peace out guys